The importance of exercise technique. Welcome back, Legion. Improving sports performance is usually a simple equation. Train hard in the gym and on the track and recover well. However, one often overlooked concept is how we train. Now, what I'm referring to is how we execute the skills and exercises that we undertake during our training sessions. And this also includes on the, on the field. So you, you may have heard from a, from a wise coach, train how we want to play. So if we train well, we will play well. And that's the same thing, even when we're talking about exercises in the gym. We want really good transference. And then ideally that transfers onto the field. Good field training transfers to game day. Game day equals winning, right? So we know that great athletes spend hours trying to perfect their craft, whether it's controlling a ball in hockey, you know, passing in soccer, dribbling in basketball, shooting, and even uh, kicking in AFL. They spend a lot of time to try and master these skills so they can execute it when it comes to game time. So do you spend endless hours trying to perfect your sporting skills? Do you pay close attention to how you execute those skills so you're becoming better? Now ask yourself this, do you do the same thing when it comes to your gym exercises and your gym routine? It's the same thing. If you practice well in the gym, that'll transfer well to, the, to your sport and to the track and you'll train better. Yeah? So when an exercise and skill is executed poorly, it becomes less effective at achieving the goal. So not only are you now wasting your time, you're not even achieving the things that you want. Even, even worse is you could be, uh, could be detrimental in regards, it could be making you worse. So instead of trying to improve the qualities that you're looking for, you know, uh, usually speed, agility, power, and strength, you might actually be tr detracting from those qualities and becoming a worse athlete. So just like keeping your eyes on the ball as you're guiding the ball down to your foot in an AFL kick, similar is sitting between the legs when we squat down. The better we execute these skills, the better the outcomes. And vice versa, if we execute them poorly, then the outcome is poor. We often don't rise to the occasion when things become difficult during a game or during our competition. Instead, we default to the training that we've been through. So if we train well, we play well. We train poorly, we play poorly. The other important part of good exercise execution with our technique is that we run the risk of being injured. Now, poorly executing exercises in the gym will transfer to your field movement. So if you move poorly in the gym, those movement patterns will follow you on the sporting field, which in turn can put you at a high risk of getting injured. Even worse still is that it could actually mean that you get injured within the gym. Now, unless you're a strength sport athlete, there's no real reason for you to get injured within the gym context. Strength board athletes may have to push the boundaries a little bit because it's their sport, as you would in your sport as well. But when it comes to the gym, it's a means to an end. It's there to improve your overall athletic performance. So if it's not, or you get hurt within the gym, then that's going to detract from everything that you're trying to do. So you've got to be very careful knowing why you're doing what you're doing in the gym and making sure that you're executing, executing your exercises with as best technique as possible. And it's a craft. It needs to be built over time. Now, one of the main reasons that we often see technique break down is usually the ego lifting, putting too much weight on too soon. Now, heavy lifting isn't necessarily dangerous, but lifting too much, more, more than you're actually capable of too soon, does become dangerous. So it's important to be patient, less is more in this scenario. You can still get a really good stimulus from lifting weights. If you do it correctly over time, you will slowly be able to overload the bar. Having said that, 
Load isn't necessarily the only thing that you can use to overload your exercises. There's other things that you can do, such as adding more sets, adding more reps, uh, performing the exercise more often, slowing the reps down, uh, adding in pauses at different phases of the lifts, and using variations like dumbbells, kettlebells, cables, and even just body weight exercises. If you're going to invest a lot of time into improving your speed, agility, strength of fitness to improve your overall athleticism for your sport, then you want to make sure you're doing it right and you're getting the best possible outcomes. So if you want to get the most out of your training, don't just focus on how much weight you can lift or how many reps that you can do, rather focus on how well you can perform the exercises. Now over time, the weight and the number of reps will increase because you took your time to master the exercises.